show you later. Hi, I'm Nick. Tim. And uh, this is our potato cannon. And today we'll be uh, shooting some potatoes. And we're going to try and find the velocity of this cannon using 2D kinematics and physics. It's going to go about two seconds, maybe three seconds. Cap it off. Okay. Set it up at an angle. And three, two, one. Hello, goat. So what exactly goes on inside the pipe? Well, I'll tell you. After spraying the hairspray in and igniting it, it creates a rise in temperature, which creates a higher pressure inside the 4-inch diameter of the PVC. This higher pressure wants to go to the lower pressure, which would be the air pressure outside of the whole spud gun. And the easiest way for this high pressure to go to a low pressure is to force the spud out of the 2 inch barrel. The 2 inch barrel, being a smaller diameter than the combustion chamber, results in a higher velocity, thus forcing the spud out of the cannon. Alright, here we are after shooting our spud gun. It's we made a data table with all of our inputs and outputs, and we got a uh, average velocity. And I'm gonna hold the camera while Whole House explains it. Whole House, would you like to introduce yourself? Or? Yes. This is Nick again. Just gonna explain the physics behind our cannon. Uh, basically, we had eight trials, and then the times for them and the distance in feet, mind you, there. And all the times we had an average time of 7.95 seconds. And then average distance, now we converted that to meters, to 64.008 meters. Now we have an, a drawing of an angle, this is a triangle right here, and this was uh, actually the spud gun on a wood post. We measured out the distances here, we have them in meters on each side, we found theta to be 68.72 degrees. Using that, we drew a and, picture. Yes, we drew a picture with our trajectory, there's, there's a potato. And uh, basically, using the angles and the average time distances, we found D equals VT, which is, and our average horizontal velocity is 8.05 meters per second. Using that in the triangle with 68.72 degrees, we're able to find the average velocity of our cannon, which is 22.18 meters per second. And uh, that's basically the physics behind our ca air cannon. One. One. <laughs> what did that go? Uh, All right, you're good. Right. Oh! Wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> See it. That's that's a burn mark. Two. One. One. Go.